Welcome to Storytime Saturday. Last week was the first time I posted one of these Storytime videos and I opened up about my previous weight loss experiences and how this isn't the first time that I've actually lost weight. And this last week, I'm on day 19, actually today of 75 Heart, but this last week, I just finished reading the book Atomic Habits and James Clear wrote an amazing book where he just covers different aspects of creating positive habits. And he also gives you tools to break the negative habits and negative patterns that you're currently stuck in. So thinking about habits and opening up last week about how I've lost weight before really helped me to reflect on my previous journeys and, you know, ask myself, how can I possibly be 135 pounds overweight if I myself has, have lost the weight twice before. Um, I used to be able to run six minute miles and then the second time I lost the weight I was you know throwing 280 plus pounds overhead. I, I know how to cook. I, I'm familiar with nutrition. Like how can this happen? And then send me down the rabbit hole where I just started looking at all kinds of different aspects of my life. I've, I've also gotten sober twice in the past before. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm going on like almost three months of being sober again. I'm feeling fantastic, feeling very clear-headed. But my tango with drugs and alcohol began when I was 13 years old. And... You know, it, it, maybe it was because it was the thing to do. It was the times. Um, I, I firmly do believe that I was just trying to escape the pain and everything that was, you know, I was carrying around and I've carried around for decades. However, you know, thank God I've been wired different where I'm the kind of person that if I want something, I'm going to go do it. I might not necessarily get the results that I want in every single area because we're all given different skills and different abilities and different weaknesses as well. But if I want it, I'm going to go get it. And I've, I've gotten sober twice in the past before yet over the last year and a half, I dove back into addiction. Um, I've been in fantastic shape before and feeling really proud about my, my well being and my health yet over the last seven years, I gained 135 pounds and have completely just ignored everything I know about wellness. And I can't help but ask, but ask myself, you know, why? Like, how does this happen? So last week was fantastic because I, I got to really think about that stuff. And I think it's just because I gave in to that monkey voice, like that monkey brain of mine or the enemy mind that tells me I can trust myself, that I can do things in moderation. Granted, we all know someone who only drinks a glass or of wine or two a week. We all know someone that can eat drive through you know, once a week and not binge at all. We all know someone who, who smokes pot at the party or at the concert and never does it again. But then we also know people that just fall, you know, off the off the edge and end up in the deep end, just stuck in addiction for what seems forever. Like I've got friends that are just they're done. You know, they're they're I'm, I pray that they come back, but they seem to have no interest in coming back. So why me, right? Like I'm thinking to myself, why me? How, how can I be this person? How can I do this? And the, the one thing in common is that every single time I got sober after a certain period of time, my life improved overall. Like I'm feeling fantastic, 100% go-getter, just in a flow state all the time. And then that one switch happens where I'm around uh, the alcohol or I'm around you know, the food, all, all the stuff that I'm trying to run away from. And my mind tricks me into believing that I can dabble casually 
and not fall into addiction again. But you can have a beer today. It's it's hot out. It's a barbecue. Enjoy yourself. You're going to have a blast. And then you don't have to do it again. And it's never the case. <laughs> like it's never ever worked that way. Every time I've tricked myself into drinking or smoking or eating junk food, it turns into just like me going 100% and falling back into my habits and, and sometimes even worse than they were initially. The same thing with weight loss. You know, the last time I lost weight, I was eating plant-based. And when I discovered that Whole Foods had like this whole section of vegan junk food, and I no longer had to eat like all the meat substitutes to break my diet, I tried some ice cream. And then after I tried the ice cream, I had some vegan pizza. And then before you know it, I was blowing my checks at Whole Paycheck or Whole Foods and gaining weight by the minute. Like I just gained 100 pounds within a one year period of time as a vegan. So what's different this time is that I'm aware of this. And the one thing I know is that the same way that I fell into those bad habits is the same way I'm getting into the positive habits, you know, going daily with these videos, going ham on the 75 hard program, focusing on my nutrition, my exercise. So it's going to be a quick journey, I feel, and, and I pray for if, you know, it's anything like I've been in the past. I know I'm going to accomplish the goals I want sooner than later. But I've also recognized the fact that I'm not the person to dabble lightly with temptation. So moving forward, you know, just having that awareness. I hope I have the patience or, or the wisdom to think twice before caving in. Because I firmly believe that I'm never going to be the person that can just have one drink and be fine for another three, four months. Like, I don't think I'm ever going to be that person. I'm not ever going to be the person who, who can love from a distance and not be there with you back to back, shoulder to shoulder, through the thin and through the thick. I just operate in its dreams and it makes me feel good. So who knows? Maybe I never drink again. Like, maybe that's what my path looks like. Maybe I, I never smoke again. Maybe I'm, I'm not going to have like store-bought ice cream or, or, you know, BS like that again. I don't know. But I do know is that I'm just super grateful to have this opportunity to be here and that I'm super grateful to be able to reflect on the past because many people aren't that lucky. Many of us don't make it around that second round or the third round. You know, it seems like currently obesity, cancer, heart disease, alcoholism, suicide is through the roof. A lot of our brothers and sisters are falling victims to it. So the worst thing you can do is just let someone who doesn't understand you, who doesn't have the same addictive personality as you, tell you that you should be able to live in moderation. And I've had that before. I've had very close love people tell me, well, can't you just not eat the stuff? Like, can't you just not eat the food? And the answer is no. Like, if, if I have it at home, I'm going to rummage through it. Call me weak. Call it, um, you know, call me this, call me that. The matter of fact is that that personality trait can also lead to very positive results in other areas where I can outperform the people that have that moderation, that have that ability to just casually dabble and going all out 100 miles per hour. So I guess it's not all negative. It's just about having that awareness that you are wired a certain way, unique to you. And if you can just harness that and embrace it, you can use it to your advantage and you can use it to just find your purpose. Or if you already found your purpose, you can use it to get after it every single day. My friends, in a time when there is so much happening around us, you don't have to do it alone. 
I, I invite you guys to walk with me as I blaze the road to Ultra. And I'll see you on the next video. Be well.